Next on the list, we have this news courtesy of BBC. Absolutely barnstorming crazy news. Jussie Smollett has somehow been released from jail pending appeal. Absolutely nonsense. But also great because it's an illustration, especially in the States, that no matter your race, color, creed, sexual orientation, as long as you have money, you can, for the most part, inoculize yourself from the regular everyday consequences that regular everyday americans have to face with when it comes to you know subjecting yourself to the justice system you can circumnavigate it you can avoid any length for any lengthy prison or jail time if you have money you honestly do and i'm really curious to know how much money the smallets have are they like well known in chicago are they well known in other parts of the states do they have really old money is it all new money because i do not get this because i remember watching a sentencing and legitimately on justice smollett's team right his defense team whatever you call it or prosecution whatever it is right there legitimately might have been six or seven lawyers there who i would assume were like from three different firms all working at the same time. It doesn't even account for the people working in the background doing the research. There were at least three different firms being represented on that table. And I was thinking to myself, bruv, this guy's been out of work for maybe two plus years since this has been happening, right? He's not worked ever since then, pending a trial, I'm assuming. People, you know, I don't think it's because he's cancelled. I think legitimately people in Hollywood would legitimately give him a gig tomorrow as soon as this case is over because they just don't want to have all the extra smoke being diverted to them, for sure. But he's been without work and without income, you would imagine, you know, outside of maybe residuals from TV shows he was on for two plus years. Yet he has the ability to hire some of the biggest and best lawyers um, out there in America per hour, whatever it may be, whatever retainer he's got them on to get him out of jail. And on top of that, he has the ability to hire an entire security detail to escort him out of jail. County jail. No, he came out fucking, you know, um, uh, a supermax prison or something he's coming out of a county jail and he has this crazy security detail around him to make sure nothing crazy happens between him leaving the jail and heading into his suv absolutely ridiculous isn't it ridiculous in extreme anyway the article says as follows actor joseph smollett has been released from bond from jail in chicago pending an appeal against his conviction for the falsely claiming he was a victim of a hate crime last week the former empire star 39 i didn't know he was that old imagine being that old and playing those kind of games and essentially trying to start a race war so you could get a flipping pay rise on empire not even like if, for instance if this was if this was the wire the sopranos the shield um breaking bad okay it's a bit scummy but i get it genre defining legendary shows that are legitimately going to be things that you're going to be remembered for for decades and years and you know centuries on after you pass cool fine fight for it fight for that bump fight for more exposure fight to be recognized fight for more story arcs to be written about you and your sexuality whatever it is fight for it but empire empire is a show that you want to start a race war a race war over really come on bruv and he's 39 it's a grown man he's not like oh i was young and dumb and trying to make my way in hollywood 39 years old and he's doing this like come on g anyway um he was found guilty of lying to the police and sentenced to 150 days in prison following his sentencing his lawyers launched an appeal smollett was also maintained his hoax the hoax incident with two places in chicago in 2019 was real that's the glaring side of it which i don't get but i kind of understand in some way shape or form because he's an absolute psychopath but it continues he had to sign a hundred fifty thousand uh, a one hundred and fifty thousand um record recognizance bond prior to his release and made no comment as he left cook county Dale surrounded by security by his defense team said that they were very happy with his appeal justice ruling and said that smollett was the target of a racist justice system cbs news reports and of course we have to check out him leaving jail right because why not look at this look how preposterous this is as if he's some sort of flipping president or something leaving the jail and again let's count the security guards around him one two three four five in a sort of u formation with him in the middle leaving jail Come on, bruv. What nonsense is this?
Like imagine the people just going to, you know, drop off some food for their for their loved ones who might have gotten in prison because of unpaid parking fines or a DUI or just checking in on somebody that might kidnap the kid. I don't know. Whatever people do when they go into jail, walking by and seeing this, like, what the hell is this? Like, why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All, all wearing all black. I wonder if they told them to all wear all black as they went to go pick him up. Or if that's just what they wear if you're a security guard. I'm not too sure. And of course, to match them, he took off his shirt that he had in, in what you call it, um, when he was in flipping um, court and held that in his hand. And he's now walking as well, wearing all black too with his head shaved, you know? Behind the mask, of course, because, you know, you have to wear a mask, right? That's the most important thing. Make sure you got your mask on. Jesse, how does it feel to be free? <laughs> How does it feel to be free? Can you tell us what the past week has been, been, been like? Oh, what's that? Is that a good book? He's got a book under his arm or something, right? Uh, what is that? Like a journal? Oh, no, it's a journal, right? It looks like a journal. So, he, see what I mean? In the in the other clip, I said something like, oh, he for sure is going to come out and make a documentary about the justice system and how unfair it is to black and brown people, um, how you are, you know, tried by media and all this sort of stuff. And for sure, he's going to do this. So, he will spend his time in there writing what? scripts uh poetry song lyrics raps nonsense thing being escorted here by his car the, any, screaming at him to say to the, judge. the other thing i've noticed as well clearly is it me or the judge smollett walk on his toes you remember because uh, everyone i met in life that does that weird thing that they walk on their toes they're always wrong and so always a bit you know and he does that thing look wait he walk, he's kind of walking on his toes is it or is it me jesse how does it feel to be free He's kind of got that toe walk. You know what I mean? I think I might have it here, actually. Where is it? Yeah, see? This walking, sitting, walking on toes. And for some reason, it all completely has autism. I don't know if it is autism, but look at this this um, YouTube video thumbnail. Toe walking in children is a sign of trouble? Question mark? <laughs> I think this is a form of autism. Is that true? Is this a form of autism? Look at the corrections they have to put in your feet to make you not walk on your toes. Oh, my God. Imagine going to school with these on the back of your foot. I'd rather walk on my, my toes. Fuck that, man. I'm not having you flipping put these correctors in my... Oh, my God. Bless them. Look what they have to wear, these flippers, in order to correct how you walk. What in the hell is that? <laughs> but, yeah, I think Justice Mollet might walk that way. I'm pretty sure he does. Or, I, or maybe I'm, I'm bugging out. Can you tell us what the past week has been like? Look at that. Is that? Justin, Somewhere you, like, you can't really see it. But, yeah. Oh, look at the ratio, bruv. The, what you call it, the public has spoken, isn't it? 354 down votes to 185 up votes. 184 so up votes. Clearly, the people do not like this guy whatsoever. And of course, the article, it says his team argued his imprisonment for what was described as a low-level non-violent crime was excessive and that his health and safety were in danger while he remained in prison. So that little show he did at the end of his sentencing was definitely part of a tactic, I feel like. Bravo to him in that regard. They also questioned why he had been imprisoned after a previous prosecutor dropped the charges against him in 2019. But that was Kim Fox, isn't it? She's corrupt as hell, so it makes sense why they tried him again. It quotes here, it says, regardless of what you think about the case... <laughs> I love how they're saying that regardless of what you think. No, what we think about the case is the whole case. That's the whole point of why we're here. If we didn't think he lied, it wouldn't matter. Do you know what I mean? But the fact that he lied, that plays a big part in the fact that we don't believe what he said. So him now maintaining his innocence and now being let out on bail under the um, under the illusion that he's an innocent party, that he has no previous record. Like, get out of here. Get out of Dodge, bruv, regardless of what you think about the case. No, that is the whole case. Anyway, the real question here is, should a black man, oh my God, imagine the hubris on an individual to still pull out the race card when you try to incite a race riot in order to get a bump in your salary on a shitty TV series. Imagine the hubris. Imagine. The real question is, should a black man be um, walked into jail for a class four felony? Some do, mate. Some black men that don't have 17 lawyers do end up in jail on class four fel felonies. I'm pretty sure that is the case. I am pretty sure there are many black men in jails across the United States on class four felonies because guess what? They can only afford a public defender or, you know, or it's assigned to them for free for fuck's sake. Like, come on, man. Shame on you if you think that they should. Shame on us. That's a disgrace. That Okay, that has to be that black guy, right? That black guy lawyer that's got a weird accent. Um, Nene Uche. Shame on us.
we're a disgrace. <laughs> I love it. I love the brazen nature of lawyers, man. It just, oh, I love it. I love it. Um, the prosecuting office said that the claim that his health and safety were at risk was inaccurate. So it was, in was incorrect and that he has been in protective custody while in prison. So not only does he start a race war and gets off of it from it scot-free, he then ends up in jail for only 150 days, which people should have said he would have spent more in jail because he lied and he has no um, sense of shame. He didn't admit fault or say he was lying. He gets out. Oh, no, so he gets put back in jail, sorry. He gets put in jail. And somehow he has protective custody because what? He's a celebrity. And it's still not enough. It's still not enough for him terrible people the actor who is black and gay <laughs> it's it's incredible isn't it right after all i'm sure the guys worked hard many failed auditions many sleepless nights remembering words for shows that didn't get picked up disappointment after disappointment but then the only thing that people are going to remember you for is lying about a hate crime and the fact that you're black and gay those are going to be your lasting legacies, not how talented you are and the fact that you're a multi-hyphenate who probably can sing, dance and rap and all that other good stuff, right? And act and whatnot, right? Clearly a talented dude, but the one thing they're going to remember you for is that you lied about a hate crime and that you happen to be black and gay. Like, come on, man. Imagine being reduced to that. Imagine being reduced to that. So, so bad. It continues. Um, he said the attacker shouted racial slurs, a, a Trump slogan, and dumped a chemical substance on him and tied a noose around his neck while he was walking late at night in January 2019. Do you remember that bit? That was the bit that really threw everything off for me. Not, not only were they carrying a noose, which is weird, they also had a bottle of bleach in their hand that they were ready to douse any black man what does bleach do what's that what's the point of bleach is that to like light you on fire is that to turn your skin white on some flipping you know um bashment artist type of vibe like what's the point of carrying bleach around you if you're a supposed white nationalist does that make any sense or is the fact that the bottle is white i don't know is there flipping proud boys bleach does that exist do proud boys have their own fucking version of bleach that they use that they douse people in when they're going and doing their fights and whatnot i don't know uh, it continues. Police opened an investigation to the incident, but later charged Smollett with filing a false police report saying he had staged the assault. Man, absolute G in it. That performance at the end probably um, paid for his freedom or played or played a huge part in it, getting him to secure his freedom. I would imagine so, because that's absolutely heinous. Heinous in extreme. But anyway, what do I know? What do I know?